this video, I'm going to show you how to use the transcribe function in Microsoft Word to transcribe your research interviews, for example. Go on to the Home tab and go to Dictate. And here you'll find the transcribe button. Now, apparently, the using transcribe in this way to, to transcribe your interviews that you're going to use for your research project, for example, is secure and falls within the data protection rules. Previously, you could upload up to five hours of audio or 200 megabytes per month. But now you can upload unlimited minutes of audio for transcription. And this may change in the future. So try it now, says this message. Let's use the start recording function and we'll record it at an interview from within Microsoft Word. Let's test it. Good day. I'm Benita. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. What did you have for breakfast? I had toast and avo for breakfast. Save transcription now. It was a super innovative conversation that I had there. Okay, yeah, it started recording and I was still speaking. But yeah, it called me speaker one. If you had a speaker one and a speaker two, it picks up who speaker one and who speaker two is. So yeah, you can edit the speaker name and call it Benita. Yeah, maybe the name was pronounced wrong. You can edit this. If you're happy, there we go. And you can go on and edit what needs to be edited. Your transcript is saved. You can choose this pane. You can close this pane and the document and come back to it later. Now we can, what is really nice is we can um, add this transcript to a Word document. So we go to add document. You can add only the text, text with the speaker, with the timestamps or with speakers and timestamps. Let's try that one. But what is amazing is here's a link to your recording. So if we follow this, it takes you to your recording. Now you can download your recording. If you want to share this document and um, this Word document that you've just created, you and you want to share the transcript, the um, f recording as well, the voice file, you'll need to go to share and add the person's email address in here that you're going to share it with. Otherwise, you can send the Word document only and they won't be able to get the file and that's for security purposes. So if we're going to go back to where we came from, let's see the information here, you can work on it and um, you preferably should add only one transcription per document. But I mean, that's perfectly fine. So then you can save your document with a specific name. You can share it. Just remember to share the audio file separately because for security reasons, that person may not have access to the audio file. Brilliant. Go try it out. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.